Hello, today we're going to solve a problem that a lot of people, including myself, seem to be having on WordPress. The problem is caused by, uh, let's see, when you have categories, if you make a category a child underneath another category, which puts this little line in here, basically it makes it so that your URL is all crazy. Um, this is the uh, category that I want to fix. Okay, so the URL that we want to fix, or the category URL that we want to fix, is this one right here under my site WordPress plugin reviews. So my uh, my child category WordPress plugin reviews is nested underneath the parent category WordPress reviews. Um, I want to keep it there, but I don't want to have this long, you know, crazy looking chain of URL. So what I want to do is I want to take out this bit in the middle so that my full URL says wordpressguides.co slash wordpress plugin reviews so that'll make it so that this will still be my, in my URL it'll still be nested underneath this you just won't have this useless and ugly bit of, of you know extra word in here so it's going to tidy things up a little bit okay so the plugin that we're going to use to do this is put out by a guy named uh, Sergio Millardovic Millardovic something like that you can see that it's been downloaded 25,000 times got a four and a half star rating. He doesn't have a WordPress, he doesn't have a real site or anything, but this plugin is pretty cool. So the plugin is called No Category Parents. Uh, probably not the best name for a plugin, but yeah, whatever. It does the job. So here's what we're going to do. We're basically going to be taking a URL like this, which is, uh, you know, category slash category base slash category child, and just changing this to just child, which is what I want. Now I already have the category um, like by default WordPress puts a slash category or slash categories or something like that in there. I already have that removed by a plugin that does my SEO uh, through Yoast. But whether you have that in there or not, it doesn't matter. It's going to be removed with this plugin. So I'm going to show you how to install this plugin real quick. Uh, to install it, you go to plugins and then uh, add new. We're going to do a search in here for no category parents. There's pretty much uh, one plugin that's called anything like that. No category parents by Sergio Milardovic. So go ahead and click install now. Click activate the plugin. Okay, now we're going to go back to our site. Again, this is the URL that I had before. So we're trying to shorten this down to wordpressguys.co slash wordpress plugin reviews. So I have this over here already typed in. I'm just going to hit refresh. You can see that it said, uh, you know, I had a 404 error before. Now it's successfully resolving to that category. And then what also is neat is that the old slug, the old URL, uh, wordpressguides.co.wordpress slash wordpress reviews slash wordpress plugin reviews. You can see that's also resolving. Um, so this is actually doing two things in once. First of all, it's removing this category or making a new URL rather that maps to that category and it's also uh, creating a 301 redirect so that basically both the old URL and the new URL for any categories that were affected by this plugin uh, are automatically going to continue to resolve. Um, so I got everything I want. I didn't even have to set up 301s or manually set up 301s. Um, both of these addresses are resolving and, and life is good thanks to the No Category Parents plugin. So quick review of the plugin. There's absolutely nothing to, to uh, actually configure about this. It's just pretty much clicking add or install now or whatever from the WordPress plugin directory. You can't possibly screw it up. You can uninstall it if you decide uh, not to do this, but really there's no reason to ever do that because it's making your URLs better and like I said, it's not breaking any URLs in doing it. A lot of things like this will end up breaking URLs as they do it because they're just not thoughtful, uh, like Mr. Milardovich is. Um, so I do recommend the no category parents. If you're using nested categories, get rid of those ugly URLs and go to something that makes a lot more sense to everybody. So go get no category parents. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and click like, and then click the link below to sign up for our newsletter where we'll send you guides, reviews, and how-tos directly to you, as well as our free guide on how to make money with your WordPress site.